Tired Hands Brewing out of Ardmore, Pennsylvania. Never had a beer from them, but I've heard a lot of great things and I was finally able to get something at one of my local spots. It's gonna be a look at their Alien Church. So this is actually a 32 ounce Crowler. So right from draft to the Crowler can, looking forward to getting into this. Comes in at 7% ABV. It is a New England Hazy IPA. Let's go ahead and crack this one open and get it into a glass and check this out. The wine source is where I got this one, 1099 for the Crowler. So not too bad for 32 ounces. All right, so you take a look there off the pour. I'm gonna get this up closer so you guys can hopefully see that there. It's kind of got like a muddy type yellow, golden yellow type color to it. Definitely hazy, not seeing really too much into the beer itself. Got a nice head that actually formed there as well. So some nice foam suziness action. Very nice on the aroma. Nice feel of a musty quality coming out. Nice dank quality. Definitely notice that IPA style. On the back end, as far as like a fruit type feel, getting some notes of tropical, a little bit of a citrus. Definitely pick up that hoppiness and bitter type feel, but very aromatic. And as far as a New England hazy IPA style, I mean, that's right on point for what you would expect to actually get. Doesn't really get much better than that. And I love the foaminess of the head itself. Nice quality head. Looks like it's gonna last for a bit, so it should be some nice lacing. Comes out very easy, not having to sniff hard, so highly aromatic. Yeah, I, it's hard to say like what is missing on the nose here because it does hit everything very well. Digging that aromatic action to it. but as far as being a New England style, hazy IPA, definitely has that nice quality. The one thing I'll say about this, coming into my mind, I was thinking it would be more to that kind of push to where you have that fruit juice type feel. This one doesn't really hit in that type of way. It actually has a nice throwback to what an IPA in my mind is. If you're thinking of the hop resiny character you want in a taste, that nice hop bite, that's what I actually pick up on this one here. Nice sting and bitterness there. Really accentuates the mouth area. Has a little bit of a juicy type quality. Mouth feel, it sits nicely as I mentioned in the mouth. You do get a nice enveloping of the flavors. It does have a nice duration. And I think overall in this one here, it gets to a point of hearing so much about tired hands that they live up to the expectations. I think it's solid. I would say maybe it didn't hit as fully as I was expecting to do, but I'm not hating on this beer by any means. I think it's very enjoyable. I think it's very nice. I think it's well put together, well crafted, and a nice one to sit back and enjoy. The 7% ABV sits well. I got it, like I said, a 32 ounce can, so this will be a nice one to just chill with for a bit. Has a little bit of a astringency factor as I feel some of the uh, cheek area pulling together, a little bit of a puckering type sensation, but yeah. Um, so on Untapped, this would be a 4.1 for me. Now, if you do follow me on Untapped, I'll make a note there on the comment. It's really gonna be a four because I have the quarter system. I don't have the 0.1 that I can actually do on Untapped. And Alien Church, well delivered. Thanks for checking out this video. I will catch up with you guys on the next one. Cheers. Moonlight.